Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a shooting in Cape Coral, an update on the search for Diana Alvarez, and more. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, and this is the lunch break. A murder-suicide brought a massive police response and widespread fear of an active shooter among tens of thousands of people at UCLA. Now fear has shifted to sadness as many lament the death of a professor who worked on computer models of the human heart who was also a doting father. William S. Klug, a professional of mechanical engineering, was gunned down in an engineering building office Wednesday. According to a law enforcement official, the shooter in the murder-suicide has not yet been identified. Classes at the University of California Los Angeles campus will resume today for most of the school and on Monday for the engineering department, whose students and faculty are coming to grips with his loss. You can read more at NaplesHerald.com. The Cape Coral Police received a call requesting service at approximately 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday. The reported incident occurred on the 2900 block of Southeast 8th Place. The victim, Victoria Brown, was found shot to death at her residence. Cape Coral Police detained her husband, Vernon Brown, regarding the shooting. Mr. Brown was released by the Cape Coral Police Department and the investigation is ongoing. The reward for information leading to the location of Diana Alvarez has been increased to $6,000. The FBI has pledged $5,000 of the $6,000 total reward and the additional $1,000 is being provided by the Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers. The Lee County Sheriff's Office reports that after an incredibly diligent and draining search, Diana's whereabouts remain unknown. Additionally, there appears to be no evidence that the nine-year-old is in the immediate area. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Diana is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS, and all callers will remain anonymous and will be eligible for a cash reward of up to $1,000 from Crime Stoppers and $5,000 from the FBI. You can find out more information at leeherald.com. And that was the Lunch Break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Lunch Break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at naplesherald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.